The goal of this video is really to provide some context for what selling the bus means in terms of cost and where the pricing is coming from, all that, because all of the requests that we're getting are asking the same questions. So in order to save time and address a lot of people's questions, concerns, we'll, we'll try to wipe them all out with this video. We won't be working on the bus for another three weeks, but we'll still release some videos of different things that we haven't released videos on. And when we jump back into it and start knocking out some of those projects on the exterior, we'll try to upload those and take pictures of some of the uh, more direct things that we've been discussing but haven't actually shown. FYI, there will be videos on this to come my home <laughs> on wheels so there will be uh, more videos on this just a little teaser I guess one last thing that I forgot to mention when we paid for the bus itself we paid right around six thousand dollars for it so that's something to consider in the price I'm not a hundred percent sure but it did seem like some people who sent us emails thought that we were going to potentially be selling it for about that much like six seven thousand uh, that's <laughs> you'd have a hard time finding a charter bus for that price uh, that is I would say a 96 uh, 102 a3 um, which would be like 1980 or more recent uh, I think it is doable to buy them for less than 6,000 but that's a good price but you have to remember that's unadulterated that's just a seated coach with all the seats in it you have no idea what you're getting with the frame nothing else being done to it uh, what what we're offering is is a bus that's pretty close to being livable if you build out the interior and you can do things on the exterior as time goes on if you don't like the engine you can do an engine swap you know Relatively speaking, it's inexpensive, but I mean, it does cost money, so you could put a Series 50 four-stroke engine in there instead of having the two-stroke. There's a lot of things that can be done to it, but we've done a roof raise. That's a lot of added cost and time. Uh, we've, I mean, we've taken out the interior, we've insulated it, we've primed it. I mean, it's we have the RV windows installed. We've done a lot of work, so you know, there, there is a limit to uh, how low of an offer we're going to accept. And if it comes down to it and we can't come to an agreement with anybody, we may end up having to keep it. And that's okay too, because <laughs> we'll find a way to make it work. It's just, it just means that we'll have to realign a few things <laughs> in our future. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, so just keep all that in mind and we look forward to hearing from you if you're interested in buying the bus. Hey guys, welcome. We're not at the bus, but we wanted to talk to you about a few things. So we released our video letting everyone know that we're selling the bus two days ago. Friday and we've gotten a lot of emails in response to that that's been awesome it's been great hearing from everybody it's nice to see people are interested in the bus and it's also been really good just to hear from people that are showing support and understanding with the decision that we've had to make so it's been amazing seeing everybody that's kind of come out of the woodwork and and uh, yeah, maybe the nicest part of this difficult decision has been seeing everybody that has been supporting us, even if we haven't heard from you along the way. But I've been responding to several emails of interest in the bus, and a lot of people, oh, actually everybody, is really asking the same thing, and that is, uh, what do you want for the bus? <laughs> and the whole point was we don't fully know how to price the bus and don't know what people are willing to pay for it and as I said in the previous video we're not necessarily looking to make money on it 
And so when people ask, what are you hoping to get for it? It's like, uh, the, I mean, it's tough. It's like the sarcastic answer is, well, a million dollars would be great. <laughs> as much money as possible. I mean, that's in a perfect world. But realistically speaking, trying to get our money back and what does that mean? In reality, we have about $20,000 into the bus. That's for all the different things that we've purchased for it, as well as the materials that have gone into it. So you might be wondering some of what that is. I mean, we have, for instance, the new radiator. It's a newer used radiator that's oversized for MCI buses. That cost us close to $1,000 to get. We have uh, the refrigerator, the washer dryer, and the wood burning stove. Between those three main appliances, you're looking at another $1,000. We have a set of Jacobs brakes that we were planning on installing. They came off an 8V92, so although we only need six, we have eight. Uh, that cost us $450. I mean, we have a lot of these little things. We have a 100-gallon tank that's going with it, a 50-gallon tank. They're both used. They're in good condition. They should be cleaned out a little bit with bleach, but there's no reason why they can't be a gray water tank, um, even a fresh water tank if you'd like. That cost us as well. So we have a lot of these little things that when you look at them as the individual parts, they, they add up. So if you're wondering, you know, where's, how can you spend that much money? Well, all these projects, they, they're gonna cost you more than you think. So if you're undertaking this project yourself or if you're thinking about it, as a lot of people uh, have emailed us, have said they're thinking about a bus conversion, it does cost more than you think. And I'll tell you, the biggest learning point that we've experienced is probably that the cost is what you don't see. It's easy to go down the bus and see the plywood on the walls and see the uh, appliances in there and see the really the big picture, the RV windows, all of that. It's easy to see the big picture. What's difficult to see, rivets, fasteners, spray foam, spray paint, adhesives, those are where big costs come in that are hard to foresee and hard to calculate. To put that in perspective, we put VHB on the sides just to hold up the galvanized sheet metal after the roof raise. The VHB, that, that set us back about three, four hundred dollars. Then you're looking at the rivets. We didn't even have to use rivets all the way down the sides because of the VHB we still spent about $300 in rivets. So just the fasteners to put on the skin of the bus, I mean, you're looking at about 700 bucks. And that's with me searching for the best deal possible because I've tried to save money at every turn of the experiment, Lauren as well. We look for the deals, we use coupons where possible. We do what we can to cut costs while still getting the best product possible. And at the end of the day, the cost just adds up. That's the way these projects go. The other aspect of this is there are a few areas where we didn't know what we were doing and should have done it differently. The biggest example of that is with spray paint. We used spray primer on all the metals in spray cans and enamel. It's a big project to do like that. It adds up pretty quick because you're, you're paying a decent amount for each individual spray can. We should have bought the primer and the enamel that we used on the entire frame of the bus by the gallon and rolled it on or, or bought our own sprayer and sprayed it on that way. We would have saved money. So there were areas where we didn't approach it the best way, but we did save as much as we could every step of the way. So there you have it. We have about $20,000 into the bus. That excludes the two years or so of rent that we, we paid uh, to store it, which in LA is relatively expensive. We've had to pay about $140 a month to store the bus. And it also excludes the tool cost that we've incurred. So we, we're not trying to get, um, when we sell the bus, we're not trying to pay for all the tools we had to buy to 
work on it. So minus the expenses of the tools and the rent, the $20,000 or so that we put into it is fairly accurate. We've kept decent records throughout the entire process. So Obviously, you know, that's not a small amount of money that's not lost upon us and there are still numerous aspects of this project that need to be undertaken. It is, I believe, downhill from here and it would be easy to get the bus livable and then to work on some of these smaller projects later down the line and if we were keeping the bus that's probably what we would have ended up doing because it's likely the most feasible way to approach the rest of this project. There are two areas of the bus, I would say, that still have a lot of outstanding work to be done. One of them being the radiator that needs to be replaced. Uh, there is a, there, there is rust around that radiator and it is isolated to that part of the bus. We have covered everything around it. We just haven't tackled the radiator itself. So it needs to be removed and then there's some rust remediation to do. So basically a couple small sections of metal tubing need to be pulled out, welded back in. It's not some huge procedure, but it is something that needs to be addressed. And the front area around the driver's seat needs some attention. So those are the two, I'd say, big things that need to be addressed. From there, there's cosmetics on the outside. I've gotten some requests for what the outside looks like. We're putting together a bunch of pictures and a few short video clips on Google Drive for people that do email us with those requests. It should make it easier for us to just share the links so that you can see the uh, images there and maybe we'll be able to post those in the description of a YouTube video coming up. The exterior we are going to be working on. So there is the fiberglass on the front cap that's close to being finished. It just needs uh, sanding in a few areas and then we're going to bondo it that will be done. And then the intake for the engine, this is a two-stroke engine, it sucks in a lot of air. And that intake is in the uh, back of the bus and the area around it had to have some custom fabrication with the metal and everything. It doesn't look that pretty right now. It is sturdy and it is watertight, the two main things we were concerned with at the time. Now it needs to be made beautiful. So. We'll be looking to get into that as well if the bus doesn't sell in the near future. That's that's one of the big things we'll be uh, tackling is basically fiberglassing over that area, getting it all smooth and nice so that when the primer and paint is done, it all looks good. With that, the only other uh, concern that should really be uh, noted at this time off the top of my head is that the two front windshields cosmetically aren't perfect. One of them has a small crack where a uh, pebble hit it or something. It's not major and in reality it should just be filled and all in all isn't an issue. The window on the driver's side has a decent crack in it. It's been that way since we bought the bus. We actually didn't see it when we purchased it. The person we purchased it from is supposed to give us a replacement but we didn't have a vehicle to get down there and pick up the replacement, so I'm not sure if he'll still honor that. We might follow up with him to see if we can get that window. It's, uh, it would just be a little bit of a drive for us. We can go down and pick it up. Um, if he does not honor that for whatever reason, well, that would kind of suck, but also there is a local company that sells the windows for $250. So that window should be replaced in terms of it being able to drive the bus, I don't see an issue with it. I wouldn't go thousands of miles without doing it, but 
Anyhow, window needs to be replaced at some point. There is a crack in it. The windows you can find at numerous places and there happens to be a company locally for $250. So, is that for one half or both? That's for one half. The window, the window. I guess lastly what I would say is that in conclusion, we, as we've said numerous times, are trying to get our money back. The operating word there is trying to. We recognize that we might not get everything we put into this out of it. We'll never get paid for the time we put into it. We've accepted that. If we don't get all of our money back it's not the end of the world we understand that as well so we are not offended by any offer that's thrown our way the worst that's going to happen is we say no that's not a big deal we can negotiate from there if you're close and see what we can agree on whether that's you know if x y and z work gets done on the bus i will give you this amount there's a ton of ways we can do this we're really just looking for an understanding of what people might be willing to pay, what they can budget for considering the work um, that's been done. Because at the end of the day, if you are thinking about taking on this project yourself, it is going to cost you more than you think. Keep in mind, this is a charter bus, so they also cost more than school buses because of the added amenities in terms of storage, air ride suspension, a um, lot of different things. So just keep all that in mind. If you give us an offer, we won't be offended if it's too low. We just want to hear and understand what other people uh, might be thinking on the topic. So thank you for everybody who's sent us emails so far. Uh, we really appreciate it. It's been, <laughs> some of them, I, I just, I, I can't, begin to describe how good they made us feel uh, just the you know even if <laughs> I just I, I can't tell you how good it made us feel it, it was really nice to get some of those emails some of them not even interested in the bus just support for us and uh, when you're doing a project like this and a lot of the times we don't always hear from people uh, it, it meant a lot that everybody Kind of chimed in not everybody but a lot of people chimed in and uh it's great thanks for listening to this we'll try to get more information out there as we progress we're going to be off the next two weekends I'm, I'm out of town next weekend and we're both out of town the following so we won't be working on the bus for another three weeks but we'll still release some videos of different things that we haven't released videos on and when we jump back into it and start knocking out some of those projects on the exterior, we'll try to upload those and take pictures of some of the uh, more direct things that we've been discussing but haven't actually shown. All right, thanks for hanging in there. Despite all the talking, I know. <laughs> FYI, there will be videos on this to come. My home. <laughs> on wheels so there will be uh more videos on this just a little teaser i guess all right thanks guys